Say hi everybody, I'm four months today. Hey guys. Hi mom. Say hi. Say hi. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. A lot of you know that I had a baby four months ago. Here she is, Aria. Say hi everybody. How you doing? Here baby. A lot of you have shown a lot of interest in Aria lately on my Instagram and on my Snapchat. A lot of you watch her um, or follow her on Instagram. So I know a lot of you were asking me for an update on her. So I wanted to do a four month update on her. Say it's my four month old birthday, everybody. I do have a zero to three month video if you want to see that. This video is for after you've seen my zero to three month video, my newborn must haves. So I'm just gonna give you guys a few um, essentials for three to six months because Aria is four months old. I'm not gonna keep her in the entire video because she is a little tired. It's a little bit after her bedtime and she is teething really badly. Here, baby, you want this? Here, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> so she's teething really badly right now. Um, or, I mean, that's a good thing. It's a milestone. Um, this is one of her favorite toys. This is the newbie. So I'll, I'll talk a little bit about that. I wanted to keep her in the entire video. I'm just not sure if she's gonna sit still through. Let's try it. So one of my holy grails right now, my very, 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 very favorite thing um, that I've been using every single day is a baby monitor. I wish that I had one the entire time from when she was a baby because I would have been a lot less stressed out because I'm always wondering like how's she doing what is she doing um, before she kind of just sat still or um, you know slept on her back and everything was pretty consistent and so I didn't have to worry so much about what she was doing every second now Aria is she's rolling over um, she's trying to crawl she's just doing all sorts of things girl she's just on the run all the time so um, when she's asleep she is rolling over from her back onto her tummy right mama yeah um, she's rolling over from her back onto her tummy and so that makes me a little bit concerned because you want to make sure that the baby can always breathe and that her nostrils and her mouth are um, clear to breathe and so since I got the baby monitor that has saved me so much uh, stress also uh, Bruce and I like to sit out on our balcony and kind of you know just have some mommy and daddy time and so when we put on her little show her little learning show or if she's asleep we don't mind going outside because we just take the what's up what's wrong baby yeah, she's teething, you guys. Um, we just take the baby monitor with us. Or if I'm working out in the other room or something like that, I can watch her. So I really do love the baby monitor. That's my holy grail right now. That's my go-to. Um, the one that I'm using is by Avin. It's good because during the day, uh, it's in color and you can see her clearly. At night, it has like night vision on it. It also has uh, audio on it so I can hear her if I want to. You can also mute the audio if you don't want to hear them for any reason. Like when I'm recording in the studio and I don't want the sound in there, I can watch her but not hear her. Um, so that's my number one holy grail, especially as your child's getting a little bit older and they're moving around a lot more and they're tumbling and doing things like that uh, that I feel like has become a major necessity that I'm using every single day the second thing that I would say that I'm using a lot is the DACA tot I didn't have the DACA tot when she was a baby but I wish that I did because it does make them feel very snug um, I have two sizes I have the one for um, that's available for up to eight months and then I have a bigger one that's available for after eight and nine months um, the reason that I got the bigger one as well is because Aria likes to roll over, she likes to turn over. It's really nice because I put the Daka Tot in her crib sometimes to stop her from rolling over. I'll put her on her back or on her side in the Daka Tot and she'll feel like she's laying next to me and so she'll sleep. Uh, yeah, right? Tell them. So I'm going to actually put her down because Aria is a little bit irritable tonight. She's really sleepy but she hasn't taken her nap today and she's teething. Come on baby, it's okay. Say bye guys, I'll be back, okay guys? No. All right, you guys, so like I was saying, I just put Aria down in the other room and I'm watching her right now as we speak on the baby monitor. She is sleeping. And so I can sit here and have this conversation with you guys and film this video without being stressed out about what she's doing or is she sleeping okay and I can make sure that she's sleeping on her side and not on her face and um, it just eases my mind so especially if you have a very active baby like we do I mean Aria is tumbling all over the place and so I just like to watch her because I'm obsessed with her <laughs> so yeah mom life you know what I mean y'all know what I mean so I was saying that I also really like the Daka top because um, we use it not just for co-sleeping which we have started to do recently because like I said Aria is turning over more and I can't really watch her obviously in my sleep but I do sleep really lightly and so I can kind of feel her when she moves they also say that it's a little bit safer for breastfeeding moms to co-sleep and Aria is 
now exclusively breastfed so i am exclusively breastfeeding her if you guys are interested in seeing a video on how i'm doing that please comment down below and i'll make a video on that because i definitely um did experience some uh, issues in the beginning with Aria with breastfeeding her so we became exclusively breastfed I think at the two month mark so um, I definitely have some tips on that I'll be happy to make a video on that I know some of you are following me mostly for my music but you know being a mom is a part of my life now so I am going to incorporate that into my channel and so I know that there are a lot of new moms that follow me as well um, especially from my Instagram and Snapchat so I will be happy to provide more videos like that for you guys if you're interested just let me know but yeah the Dock is Hot is great for cold sleeping um, and it's also great for when we're traveling or we're going to my mom's house or my aunt's house or just family in general or if anybody's going to be babysitting her it's kind of like bringing her a bed to sleep in so they can put her in the middle of their bed they can put her on the couch we don't really put her on the couch because she is like I said a little bit of a tumbler now next is as you guys saw in the video when Aria was sitting here with me, she is teething. It really started at the three month mark and people were like, um, that baby is definitely teething because she's drooling and she's like gnawing at her hands and trying to eat everything in sight um, to uh, rub it against her gums. We have a bunch of new teething toys. Uh, her favorite so far are the newbies. Um, the one that she was just playing with, you can stick it in the freezer and it freezes each individual key. And so she loves that. Um, she doesn't love it so much when it's frozen because she doesn't want to hold it. So I end up holding it, but her teeth um, seem to be relieved from it. So we do love those uh, teething toys. Another thing is tummy time. Your baby's getting older now and they're starting to try to crawl. I do have um, a tummy time mat for Aria that was made by Boppy, which she does love that tummy time mat. And I like it too because I can travel with it. It just zips up really nicely and you can travel with it and take it places. But I will say that we do actually use a regular pillow more than we use the tummy time um, mat. So I'm gonna piggyback the tummy time mat and the pillow with a playpen. A playpen has been great for us. Um, we've had it since she was born, but I didn't actually use it until now because she's practicing turning over and crawling and in the crib because it has obviously hard sides. Um, I feel a little bit more stressed about making sure she doesn't like tumble into the sides of the crib whereas the playpen i can bring it in the living room i can bring it in the kitchen i can drag it in different places and um all the sides are very soft um they're mesh they're malleable and they move and so when she's doing tummy time inside the playpen it doesn't matter if she hits the side of it because it's soft and so i love the playpen for her right now the brand that we have is ingenuity and i did some research on different playpens and i put that on our baby shower list and it was gifted to us um, at ra's baby shower so we're using it now oh another thing that she loves this is another holy grail of mine it is a baby carrier the one that you wear we have two of them we have the ergo baby uh carrier which is supposed to be better for your back it's ergonomic it's more expensive it's like 165 dollars just being real with you um and then we also have the infantino which is only 30 bucks which i actually prefer even though i will say it's not like um something that you're gonna wear you would want to wear backpacking for hours because it does start to kind of wear on your back but it's uh it's thinner it's easier to stuff in a purse or in her diaper bag and it's easier way easier to put on it feels more comfortable um on me and she seems to be more comfortable in it as well it's not as bulky as the ergo baby um so i do love the infantino that thing is awesome because she's kind of past the wanting to sit in the stroller stage. She wants to be a part of it. She ends up crying in the stroller anyway, wanting me to pick her up because she wants to see what's going on. She doesn't like to lay down in it. So I feel like until she's ready to sit up in the stroller, it works when she's asleep. But when she's awake, she wants to be in the carrier. She loves that thing. I just put it on. The baby can face you or they can face outward. And I feel like um, as Ari is getting bigger, she likes to face outward. In my newborn must-haves, I talked about the boba, which was a cloth wrap where she faces you. No, she is over the boba. She does not want to use that anymore. So it only has about a four-month lifeline, y'all. So that is an update on that because she was using it but now she wants to see what's going on when i go shopping in the mall she wants to touch everything and be a part of it so she loves the baby carrier she'll stay out with me all day as long as i have her in that uh carrier another thing that we have now as she's learning to crawl and tumbling around is the foam play mat that uh bruce just got her her daddy just got it for her and she loves it um it's great because it's 
huge like and you can build on it you can make it small and you can make it bigger as you go and it's like squares that you put together and it's awesome because it's the ABCs it's an entire alphabet I don't know like the exact stats on it but it's it's pretty big it can fill up our like a whole section of our living room and she can roll over and go as far and wide and long as she wants and I'm not worried about her before we used to keep her on a corner in the on the couch because she wasn't going anywhere but now that is coming in super handy so I love that um, another thing that we're using right now is the play gym she's been using the play gym since she was a baby so that was um I don't think it was in my newer must-haves but we've had it since she was a baby she didn't start to use it till about two months but I feel like now that she's four months old she's really starting to love it um, ours is by bright starts before she used to just use it on her back now she's doing tummy time on it as well and what I love about the bright starts play gym is that it has a ton of colors on it so she's super simulated and she's looking at the colors and different textures are on it um, you can hang as many different toys from it as you want to one of her favorite toys that hang from that that we take off of it because you can remove the toys from um from the play gym and take them with you which i definitely do um one of the toys is the crinkle paper she loves the crinkle paper because it makes noise and it's colorful it sounds like this i mean if you don't have a baby i'm sure you'll find it very annoying but she is just so tickled by this thing um and it has like this little, like this says dolphin, it has colors and words on it. And so that's one of her favorite things. I know they make books like this as well, so I do want to invest in that. But this is one of her favorite toys on um, that came with the play gym. And we take it with us to go. Okay, another thing that has been helpful to keep her in the stroller sometimes, I got her this toy that wraps around her car seat that hangs above her. I will say that the car seat that we have, it hangs a little bit too high, so she really has to kind of like really struggle to look at it. But it has saved me sometimes when we're in the car and she's crying and she wants to get out um she'll look up and then she'll see there's a mirror on it there's a teether on it there are different things hanging from it and so it does definitely entertain her um i won't say that she plays with it all the time like from the beginning to the end of getting in the car seat it doesn't keep them in the car seat forever girl you know babies they have short attention span so she'll play with it for a little bit but as she's becoming more aware and more alert it's good to have something to like stimulate her mind with um if she has to wait in the car for a while oh another thing that has been great to me which i don't know why i took so long to mention it is the bouncer we have the baby einstein's bouncer i love the bouncer because i can take it anywhere with me in the house it allows her to sit up because now aria doesn't really like to lay down as much she's not using her swing as much as she was in the beginning so the bouncer is great because she can sit up and i can take it different places it's lightweight so when i am in the studio recording or i am in the kitchen cooking or i'm on the balcony just reading a book just hanging out i can bring the bouncer with me to different places and it has toys on it it lights up it has music and so that entertains her um either she's looking at that or she's looking at me for the most part she's watching me cook she's watching me record she's watching me read she's very um just mommy what are you doing mommy so um she loves that for the most part that's what we're using right now i will um name a few more things that i feel like are really helpful going into this stage uh bibs you're gonna need a ton of them because she's drooling now and before we weren't using the bibs but now she's definitely like drooling all over her little outfits and stuff like that and so i started to use bibs on her now we're ruining a lot less outfits okay these are the things that we've been using for aria lately if you have any suggestions for me please let me know um like i said we aren't necessarily at the six month mark yet so i may do another video on just six months but i feel like from what i've heard we have pretty much everything that we might need between three to six months um i did hear that we may need a high chair soon and so i will say that you might need a high chair soon in this video but we haven't gotten one yet um but i'm pretty sure we'll need one soon so that's where we're at right now i feel like that applies more to like the six to nine month stage because i know babies don't start really eating food until six months so i don't want to include that in here because we don't actually have that yet so yeah those are my baby essentials and some of aria's milestones so far i do want to say congratulations to all of my moms out there that um, have been watching from when i was pregnant watching my 12 pregnancy hacks and i know a lot of you just had babies so congratulations super exciting let me know how going for you i know it has been a lot i mean there's a ton of changes that your body goes through after you have a baby your body emotionally mentally you know so um i just want to say congratulations to you guys and hang in there we made it already to four months i just realized that like my sleeves are undone because i stopped this video three times now um one to put her down to bed one to feed her <laughs> 
can even close it back. I can't. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that this video was helpful to you. Um, I hope that you found it useful. If um, you have any suggestions for me, please leave them in the comments below. If you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comments below. And be sure to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. You can see a lot more videos and photos of Aria and get more updates on me and what I'm doing. And for those of you that followed me first um, in regards to my music, thank you so much for watching and for being a part of you know this new part of my life, which is Aria. Um, a huge part of my life which is aria now so for those of you that are watching and continue to support me thank you so much for watching um you can also follow me on my seracia's diary channel that is my channel where i have family vlogs and challenges i'll continue to do updates on my life with aria and on behind the scenes of my music life and just being a music mom or a career mom i don't know what to call it but it is a lot and it's different so i'm happy to share with you guys my experience and this awesome journey that we're on so thank you so much for watching and i will see you again soon in the next video say okay everybody thank you for watching please subscribe please subscribe and follow me at baby aria right mama yeah say bye playing with this the entire time uh oh you just spit up on me Mom life.